We worship you, Jesus. We adore you, King of Kings. Be glorified, Jesus. We adore you.
to be glorified, Jesus. You are worthy to be honored, my Father, this afternoon. How I bless your name for your faithfulness, O oh God. I thank you, Lord, for this Father that you brought us, O oh God. Thank you, Lord, because you blessed our lives, O oh mighty God. And as we sit in your presence, mighty God, I pray that, Lord, you will glorify yourself in our lives this afternoon in the mighty name of Jesus. I welcome the presence of God in this place in the mighty name of Jesus. Must be glorified, must be exalted in the name of Jesus. How I give you praise, how I give you honor, how I give you all the exaltation in the mighty name of Jesus. Must be glorified. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, mighty Father. Bless our lives, O oh God. As we sit in your presence, I pray that you are going to minister to our lives. We give you praise and we give you honor. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. We may be seated in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Amen. It's another day that the Lord has made. We give God all the glory because of what he has continued to do in this place. Hallelujah. I want to go to the word of God in the book of Joshua chapter 6. Amen. Tell your neighbor, live by faith. Mbia manzako ishi kwa imani. Kwa sababu wate ule wabwana wate ishi kwa imani. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes. And uh, today we are looking at uh, uh, examples on how to live by faith. 
Because when you live by faith, you receive everything that God has promised in his word. Praise the name of the Lord. Living by faith. Very important to every person that is born again, that you ought to live by faith. Amen. The book of Joshua chapter 6, I'm going to read from verse 1. Actually, I'm going to read a very uh, long portion of the scripture, almost the whole chapter of the book of Joshua. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Now Jericho was tightly shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out, none came in. The Lord said to Joshua, See, I have given into your hand Jericho, the king thereof, and the mighty men of valor. And you shall compass the city, all you men of war, and go round about the city once. That shall you do six days. And seven priests shall bear, the, uh, bear before the ark seven priests. Uh, seven trumpets of ram's horns and the seventh day you shall compass the city seven times and the priest shall blow with the trumpets and it shall come to pass that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn and when you hear the sound of the trumpet all the people shall shout with a great shout and the wall of the city shall fall down flat and the people shall ascend up every man straight before him and Joshua, the son of Nun, called the priest and said unto them, Take up the ark of the covenant and let seven priests bear seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark of the Lord. And he said unto the people, Pass on and compass the city and let him that is harmed, armed, uh, pass on before the ark of the Lord. And it came to pass when Joshua had spoken unto the people that the seven priests bearing the seven trumpets of ram's horns passed on before the Lord and blew with, with the trumpets. And the ark of the law of the covenant of the Lord followed them. And the armed men went before the priests and blew with the trumpets. And uh, the priests that blew with the trumpets and the Rare, rare word and the rare, rare word came after the ark and the priests going on and blowing with the trumpets and Joshua had commanded the people saying you shall not shout or make any noise with your voice neither shall any word proceed out of your mouth until the day I bid you shout then you shall shout so the ark of the Lord compassed the city going about it once and they came into the camp and lodged in the camp. And Joshua rose early in the morning and the priest took up the ark of the Lord. Seven priests bearing seven trumpets of the ram's horn before the ark of the Lord went on continually and they blew with the trumpets and the armed men went before them. But the railroad came after the ark of the Lord and the priests going on and blowing with the trumpet. And verse 14, and the second day they compassed the city once and they returned to the camp. So they did six days. Verse 15, and it came to pass on the seventh day that they rose early about, down, uh, about the dawning of the day and compassed the city after the same manner seven times. On that day they compassed the city seven times. And it came to pass at the seventh time, when the priest blew with the trumpets, Joshua said unto the people, Shout, for the Lord has given you the city, and the city shall be accursed, even it and all that are therein, to the Lord. Only Rahab and the harlot shall live, she and all that are in with her, the house, because she hid the messengers that we sent. And you, in any, and you, in any wise keep yourselves from the accursed thing, lest you make yourselves accursed when you take the accursed thing and make the camp of the uh, uh, of accursed and trouble it. But all silver and gold and vessels of brass and iron are consecrated unto the Lord. They shall come into the treasury of the Lord. So the people shouted when the priest blew the trumpets and it came to pass when the people heard the sound of the trumpet and the people shouted with a great shout that, we, that the wall fell down flat. 
so that the people went up into the city. Every man tried before him and they took the city. Hallelujah. And they utterly destroyed, verse 21, they utterly destroyed all that was in the city, both man and woman, young, young and old, and ox, sheep, ass, with the edge of the sword. But Joshua had said unto the two men that had spied out the country, go in to the harlot's house, bring out hence the woman and all that she has, as he swore unto her. And the young men that were spies went in and brought Rahab and her father and her mother and her brethren and all that she had. And they brought out all her kindred and left the, them without the camp of Israel. And they burnt the city with fire and all that was therein, only silver and gold and the vessels of brass and of iron they put into the treasury of the house of the Lord. And Joshua saved Arab, the harlot alive, and her father's house, and all that she had. And she dwelt in Israel, even unto this day, because she hid the messengers which Joshua sent to spy. And Joshua adjured them at the, that time, saying, Cast be the man before the Lord that raises up and builds this city, Jericho. He shall lay the foundation thereof in his firstborn, and his youngest son shall be set up uh, the gates of it. So the Lord was with Joshua, and his fame was noised throughout all the country. Somebody say, Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tell your neighbor, ishi kwa imani. Live by faith, for the just shall live by faith. The fall of Jericho is a good example of living by faith. Praise the Lord. When you look at all that happened in Jericho, it was about faith. Amen. Because God talked to Joshua. And you know, he gave Joshua instructions. And he told Joshua, I have given you Jericho. Amen. Hallelujah. He said in the book of Joshua chapter 2, See, I have given unto your hand Jericho and the king thereof and the mighty men of Val. Uyo ni mungu. Anaongelesha Yoshua. Anamambia Yoshua. Nime kupatia Yeriko. Bwana sifiwe. Nime kupatia Yeriko. Nime kupatia mfalme wa Yeriko. Nime kupatia ata wale watu. Eh? Wale wa, you know the mighty men. They are the people of war. Of Jericho. Watu wote. Nime waweka mikono ni mwako. Nime kupea Jericho. Praise the Lord. And when you look at Joshua. is a good example of people that lived by faith. Because God tells him. And the, but the time God is telling Joshua. I have given you Jericho. Jericho is surrounded with a strong wall. The people that are inside Josh, uh, Jericho. That God is telling Joshua I have given you. They are inside there. The king is inside there. And the mighty men, because in Jericho there were mighty men who would fight back against anybody that tries to take Jericho. So they, are, they were ready for the battle. They were ready to fight back. And that is why they had a strategy that they had put. Remember, they knew that God has, you know, you know, Rahab is the only person that knew that God has given Joshua the, the city of Jericho. Praise the Lord. And because she could not beat them, she joined them. Amen. That is wisdom. Preparing herself. She knew that God and all the people of Jericho knew that God had given Joshua and the children of Israel they knew that God had given them the city. And that is why in the book of Joshua chapter 2, Rahab speaks to the spies. If not to chapter 2 verse, it is chapter 3. Joshua had spoken to the spies that had come to spy Jericho. And he told them, we know that God has given you Jericho. So they knew that God had given 
Joshua and the children of Israel, Jericho. And you know, Rahab told them, we know who this God is. He's the Lord in the heavens above and on the earth beneath. We know that he has taken the land from us and he has given the land to you. And you know, Rahab told the spies, the king and the people of Jericho, all of them, yeah, their hearts have melted because of this issue. There is nobody with any energy. This is a harlot in the city of Jericho that is speaking to the spies that came to spy uh, the land. They told, you know, she told them, we know. And because of what we know, there is nobody with any energy left. All the people. And because they did not have any energy, all they did was to close themselves inside the city of Jericho. They closed the gates so that nobody could come out. All the Jerichoans remained in Jericho. Nobody was allowed to go out. Nobody was supposed to come in. They had closed the city so that the people of Israel cannot get inside the city. So that they cannot have an assess. But remember God is telling Joshua, I have given you the city. I have given you the city. But when he looks at the situation, the city that God has given him, the city that God is telling him that he has given, it is already surrounded with a strong wall. The city has gates. And the city is occupied. But God is saying, I have given you Jericho. I have given you the king and the mighty men of valor that are inside Jericho. All of them, I have given them to you. Faith. Amen. And the Bible says, God also gave Jericho a strategy to, to take the city. Amen. The people of Jericho put a strategy. Then also God gave Joshua a strategy on how they were going to take the city. They were not supposed to fight the mighty men, but they were supposed to follow God's instructions. Unapo endelea kuishi kwa imani, mungu atakupa mawaida. Mungu akisema atakufanikisha, atakuonyesha jinsi ya kufanikiwa. Bwana sifiwe. Hauna haja kushuku mungu. It doesn't matter what you are going through. But when God speaks something, he will also give you a strategy on how to achieve that which he has said. And that is why he wants you to have faith in him. That is why you are not supposed to doubt God. Because God knows how. Amen. God knows how. Mungu yuajua ni namna gani. Akikwambia jambo. Kazi yako ni kukubaliana na wewe. Kazi yako ni kuwa na imani. Vile atakavyofanya atakwambia. Amen. Ili upate matokeo, Bwana atakwambia vile ambavyo unastahili kufanya. So the children of Israel were supposed to compass. Eh? Bwana asifiwe. Walikuwa na staili tu kuzunguka ule mji ule ukuta venye uko hiyo ndiyo kazi ambao walikuwa wanastahili kufanya walikuwa wanastahili kuizunguka mara sita six times every day once amen after they go once and god showed them how they were supposed to do the arrangements that there were supposed to be empty men before then the, the empty men were supposed to, uh, to to be followed by priests who were supposed to be holding some, you know, some ram horns for, uh, to blow. Praise God. Then after that, the Ark of the Covenant, who is God himself. Then after that, there were supposed to be also guards at the back. We are supposed to guard. So in front there was guarding and at the back there was guarding. Amen. And the priests were in the middle together with the Ark of the Covenant. And uh, Joshua told them, you are not supposed to make any noise. Amen. Only the, the, you know, only the, 
the, the, the, the, the priests were supposed to blow the trumpets. Praise the Lord. So they were supposed to do it. Nataka uone imani hapa. Kile kitu ambacho mungu anawambia, in the real, it doesn't make any sense. Na unajua shida yetu ni moja. Tunataka mungu waunge vitu ambavyo vina make sense. That is the biggest problem. You want God to speak something that can make sense. Ati, ati sasa nime, ninataka kuchukua muji, na nisitoboe hata ukuta, yani nisipigane, nizunguke. Does it make sense, brethren? It doesn't make sense, but when God tells you to live by faith, there are things that God, every, you can never understand God with your five senses. Amen. The five senses don't work to the things that concern God. They don't work. Your head doesn't work. You can't understand God with your mind. Amen. You can't understand even if you try to understand, you can never understand the ways of God. That is why you are supposed to live by faith. These people have been given the city by God. But God is telling them at the same time, just go around the city every day once for six days. Amen. And on the seventh day, they were supposed to, you know, to surround the city, to go around the city seven times. That is the only day, which is the seventh day, they were supposed to go around the city seven times. God gave them a strategy on how to take the city. Praise the name of the Lord. And every time you are walking by faith, you have to believe what God is telling you. In matters concerning God, all your senses should die. They die. Amen? All of them, they don't make sense. These eyes should die. And God must open another eye, which is called a spiritual eye. That eye is the only one that sees God. This is the only one that sees God. This is the only one that sees God. This is the only one that sees God. Kwa hivyo macho haya, Hayafanyi kazi katika mambo ya kiroho. Kwa hivyo si uombe uwe kipofu. Kwa sababu hiyo ndiyo imekufanya upatangi mambo ya mungu. Na mimi naona tuombe upofu uje. Unajua hata wakati mungu alikuwa nataka kusaidia saulo. Kitu cha kwanza alimpanya kipofu. He became blind. He couldn't see. Because the eyes were very corrupt. Iyo macho ikafungwa. So he rose up from the ground blind. And I, na, 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 nafikiri hapa kuna watu wanaitaji. Eh, uo upofu Manake upoke yangi kutoka kwa mungu Macho inaangalia ina, inashuku mungu Macho inaona makosa macho, ina, macho yako ni shida Macho yako ni shida Imekufanya umeka na upokei vitu vya mungu Kwa sababu ya macho Wana sifiwi Na masikio Masikio ya nasikianga Kila kitu Inasikia kutuamini Inasikia mambo ambayo Haya you know Mambo ambayo ni ya kinyume Na imekufanya It has delayed you Praise the Lord. So, Joshua obeyed what God told him. And the Bible says, on this seventh day, they went round the city seven times. Remember, Joshua had instructed the people that they were not supposed to shout. They were not supposed to use their mouths anywhere during the six days. And all this time also, at uh, during six, the last day, in the last day, remember, they went round the city seven times. So also Joshua told them, in these six times as we go round the city in the last day, that is the seventh day, don't open your mouth until I tell you. Praise the Lord. So it is the seventh round of the seventh day that Joshua instructed the people and he told them, shout! Praise God. And they obeyed what Joshua told them. Because also Joshua was obeying God. This instruction Joshua had taken from God. So in the last day, the Bible says, they shouted according to the instructions of Joshua. 
And the Bible says that all the walls of Jericho, all of them, they fell down and they fell down flat. Praise the Lord. Brethren, what am I saying? Live by faith. Live by faith for the just shall live by faith. Hallelujah. Ishi man. If these people did not have faith, if Joshua never had faith, he would not obey what God told him. He would tell God, God, I know how battles are fought. David would, would head an army and David would go and fight enemies. But remember also before David went, he would inquire from God and he would ask God, should I go for them? Should I fight this battle? So maybe you are fighting when you are not supposed to be fighting. Praise the Lord. And I clearly believe that some of you are going through battles. And you are fighting the battle and you are not the one that is supposed to fight battle. Amen. Only that you have not listened to God. Only that you have not followed the instructions that God has given you. Your breakthrough is tied in your obedience. And this is something that I, have, I said there before. That you are elevation. You are blessing. Amen. They depend on your obedience to God. When you obey God, God will establish you. The walls of Jericho, all of them, they fell down flat. Amen. And that is how the children of Israel got inside Jericho. And the Bible says God had instructed them to kill everything that is alive. The people, young and old, all the animals of every type, they were supposed to be killed. And that is what they did. They killed everything. Only that God had told them, Tahabu na feather, eh? Wana sifi, pesa aziachi, zinaitajika katika kazi ya buwana. Because they needed it to, no, to, 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 work, to serve God. Money is always needed. So you don't have to destroy money. Ati uchome, useme hizi, hizi feather nimepewa na kahaba, sili, ama situmi, chukua pesa. Pana sifiwe, nunua bass guitar and a, ba and a bass what? Speaker. Praise God. Tuongeze vyombo, tuende tukahubiri njili. Pana sifiwe. So they were told, don't destroy silver and gold. Don't destroy anything that is made of brass. Hizo ni vitu za adhamana. Musi ziharibu hizo. Zibebeni ziletwe kwa treasury ya mungu. Lakini watu na, 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 na wanyama what? We ni. Kill them. And that is what they did. Praise the name of the Lord. And that is how they occupied Jericho. Praise the name of the Lord. I see you occupying. I see you taking your place in the name of Jesus. There is a territory that God is about to give you. There is a breakthrough that God is going to give you. But you must walk by faith. You must live by faith. Praise the name of the Lord. God is going to bless you. But you must live by faith. God is going to give you that which belongs to you. But you must live by faith. God is going to bless your life. But you must live by faith. Hallelujah. Living by faith is by obeying every instruction that God gives you. Whether it makes sense or it doesn't make sense because it doesn't have to make sense. It doesn't have. Amen. Tell your neighbor it doesn't have to make sense. Praise the Lord. Tell them the things of God do not make sense. Because they are not supposed to be understood by the senses themselves. Amen. They are not supposed to be understood by the senses themselves. They cannot. You can never understand God. The Bible says we can never understand the ways of God. We can never understand how God does things. The same way that we cannot understand how a child is formed in the mother's womb. Huwezi kuelewa. Kile kinachotendeka katika tumbo la mwanamke. 
that the woman will only receive a seed. But what will come out is a baby, a human being with every part. You can never understand. Amen. Nobody can understand. Even the doctors cannot understand. All they tell us, it is the stages. But how it is formed, they don't tell us. They don't tell us how an eye is formed. Vile mtoto watatoka akona, masikio, macho, meno iko. Na hii ni chuma bwana. Hii ni chuma. Chuma. Kwa tumbo ilitoka wapi? Wewe uwezi kuelewa mungu. Mpendwa na jaribu kukuambia ishi kwa imani. Hii mambo ya kutaka kufafanuliwa. Unajua kuna watu wanataka. Hata pasta waeleze itakuwa na mnagani. When a woman of God or a man of God speaks to your life, it is not in your side to understand God. Just believe. The Bible says just believe. When you pray, believe. And you will have that which you need given to you by God. Just believe. Amen. Believe. That is what we call walking by faith. Walking by faith is believing God and having no doubt. Watu wa singe kuwa na mashaka, tunge kuwa mbali. Lakini watu wa na mashaka, wanapimianga wana mungu, wanasema hii mungu anaweza, lakini hii itaweze kana, vipi ya iweze kana. Mpaka utoke hapo, pakusema hii ya iweze kana. Hiyo ndiyo shida yako, na hiyo ndiyo sumu yako. Otherwise, kuokoka uliokoka. Lakini mbona haupo kei. I fail to understand how you received salvation by faith. But you cannot receive the things that you are struggling with. That is what I don't understand. Why is it that you have believed God unto salvation? But you are not believing God unto your provision. But you are not believing God unto your healing. You are not believing God unto your blessing. There must be a problem. Because you want to understand God. See you in Ulyse Kama. Paulo aliuliza wa Galatia, ni nani aliyewaroga? Muliamini wokovu, lakini ya muamini kupokea vitu kutoka kwa baba. Kwa mungu huyo huyo, alie kuokoa, alie kuambia urudia maneno. Maneno tu na ukaokoka, imagine. Na hivi leo tunavoongea, tunangoja Yesu warudi, na tunaimani, tutaenda mbinguni. Lakini ni nani alie turoga? Mana tumerogwa. Tunangangana na maisha. Nani alikuambia mungu hana fedha? Nani alikuambia? Mandiko inasema, thahabu na fedha ni za mungu. Siwamini tuibu. Amen. Mungu alasema, sita shikilia chochote kilichochema. Nita wapatien. Vitu vyote vina vyousiana na maisha haya. Nani ya liye kuroga uamini? Wangangana, kuokoka umeokoka, waongea kwa ndimi, lakini wangangana. Mimi ni mechoka na kungangana. Nataka ni muamini mungu. Niko tayari kulipa garama. Any price I will pay to feed my faith because that is where the problem is. Tuko na bidi ya kulisha mwili wa inje. Lakini mwili wa ndani, hakuli ni mnyonge. Diyo mana huna imani ya kutosha. Ikiwa kuja grace hour, kutalisha imani yangu, nita kuja grace hour. Ikiwa kwa muka morning glory, kutajenga imani yangu, nita rauka, sina haja na usingizi. Chochote kile ambacho, ninaweza nika kifani, ili nikuze imani yangu, ili niache kuishi maisha ya ufukara, ili niache kuishi maisha ya kudharauliwa, nita kifanya, nita lipa garama. Pana sifi sana. Lazima tuwe tayari kulipa garama. Amen. Lazima uwe tayari. Ata ukienda kwa nyumba. Kile unachosikiza ni nini? Runinga yako hivi inaongea kuhusu nini? Is it the things of faith? Is it a preacher preaching the gospel? Is what do you watch? What do you read? If it is to buy books, buy books and feed your faith. I'm a buyer of books. 
Amen. I'm a buyer of books. When I see a good book, I buy it. And when I buy it, I read it. And when I read it, I get knowledge and my faith. Amen. Some books, will, you know, they inspire me. Hallelujah. They inspire me. I feed my faith with the right things. Usikuange mtu wa kuangalia movies za kinyume. Muzi, we waangalia nga vampire tu na wachawi. Movies za wachawi. This girl is a witch. Na unajua kueleza, kikutana na wenzako. Unajua majina na unasema she's a witch. And you know she was bewitching. Nasa wezi utakuwa mchawi tuwe. At the end of the day, you begin behaving like a witch. And you become one. We must be very careful. We are living in the last days. If the free masonry now can, can, can come to the social media and they begin to tell people how good it is and how is easy it is to get into pre mason we must understand where we are. Praise the Lord. I have never seen it, but I am seeing it for the first time. And it is a deliberate thing to recruit people to free masonry. Bwana sifiwe. Mnaangianga kwa social media. Bwana sifiwe. Vitu vingine ukiviona tu lazima uelewe. If a, that guy, a, that free masonry. Anasema kila mtu anasema mimi sio free masonry. Bwana sifiwe. Lakini it was a deliberate move because when you look at him he is ready to recruit people to free masonry. Amen. Is ready to recruit people to Freemasonry. That is why you need to feed your faith. So that your faith is strong. So that God can open your spiritual eyes. So that you will not take an action. Unajua saa hii lazima ujue watu. Nilikuwa na muomba Mungu na mwambia. Vile mtu alisimama mlangoni kwangu na ukanionyesha na ukanipa details za huyo mtu. That is what I want. I want to go back there. I want to see the devil before he confronts me. I want to see him. Amen. I want to see him afar so that I can equip myself and be ready for the battle. Lakini si unagongwa na shetani. Sasa zile amekutia coffee ndio umejua haya. Sasa hiyo ushaliwa coffee kabla hajanifikia nitamuona. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kabla hajanifikia nitamuona. And I will be ready for him. Because he doesn't have to he doesn't have to give me a blow. Before he gives me one, I will have given him several. Praise the name of the Lord. Live by faith. For the just shall live by faith. Stand up on your feet. Simama kwa migu yako. Na hisi ya kwamba kuna vitu ambavyo. Kuna vitu ambavyo mungu anakupigania kuanzia sasa. That battle that you have fought for many times. You don't need to fight it now. Because God is fighting it for you. Praise the name of the Lord. Just open your spiritual eyes and focus your eyes on Jesus. And believe God for what you are going through this afternoon. Kili ambacho unapitia muamini buwana. Najua kwamba tuko katika vita tofauti tofauti. Najua kwamba kuna vitu ambavyo mungu wa metupa lakini vime kataliwa navyo. Kuna mambo ambayo mungu wa metupa. Kuna kazi mungu wa metupa lakini vime kataliwa nayo. This is the time to take it in the name of Jesus. This is the time to take it. Believe God. Just focus your eyes on God this afternoon. I just open your mouth and tell God I believe. Tell God I believe. Um, me need to just, just, just worship God. Just worship him God and believe God. Amini buwana. Amini buwana katika jina la yes. Tunapomaliza muamini buwana kwa yote. Ya kwamba yote ya weze kana katika jina la yes. Oh raba shakala balaba yendele balaba konda raba kande karika jina la es ah mini tu nikiendelea kuimba na wewe muamini bwana na wewe endelea kuyataja yote ambao umekuwa kimwamini bwana muamini bwana mchana wa leo and by the time we are leaving this place you will have it in the name of Jesus Christ oh lama shakala balaba Rekando lo bolo bo shende re bala bakanda ya katolo bolo bo shanda ra bala bakande riba konda la ba shekere basa 
Oh Jesus, riba shakala balaba, reketele balaba konta laba kande. We believe, oh God, we believe, we believe in every matter. We believe that all things are possible, Almighty God. Raba kando laba laba shakere balaba. We believe in you, Lord. We believe what you've said about us, Lord. We believe that you are able to do exceedingly abundantly. More than that which we pray for. More than that which Jehovah God. We can think about. We believe this afternoon. Lord I pray that as your people believe. That you are going to answer. Oh their prayer this afternoon Lord. They have a prayer before you. They have a request before you oh God. Let it happen. I pray for miracles. I pray for wonders. For signs in the name of Jesus. That everybody is going to carry their miracle. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare all the impossibilities. There are going to be possibilities from now. Every impossibility, may it be turned right now into possibility. In the name of Jesus, if you are in the house, receive your miracle. What you have been trusting God for, the Lord has given you. He told Joshua, I have given you Jericho. I declare you have been given it. What you have been praying God for, he has given unto you. In the name of Jesus, receive it now. Receive it now. If you are in the sanctuary, receive it. And if you are watching me online, receive it in the name of Jesus. God has given it unto you. If you are sick, God has healed you. Receive your healing. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Lord has healed you. He has healed you. By his stripes you are healed. Receive your healing now in the name of Jesus. Oh, Rabba Shakala Balabalaba. Reketere Balaba Kando Rabalabosa. Riba Konda Laba Shende. Oh, Makatolobo Shanda Rabalaba. Ria Makota Labalaba Shekere Balaba Konta. Reketere Balaba Kando Rabosa. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I worship you. Father, I bless your name. Father, I adore your name. You are worthy, Jesus. I glorify your name. I magnify your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Rabba Shakala Balabalaba. 
Yama kandele balabashando robosa Oh lama kocha rabashinda Yeketele balabakonda Yama koto lobo shanda rabasa Thank you Jesus Lord I thank you for the many miracles That have happened this afternoon I give you praise Father And I give you honor Thank you for ministering to your people I give you praise and I give you honor In Jesus mighty name we pray Somebody give Jesus a mighty hand clap this afternoon I want you to understand It is done I say it is done I say it is done in Jesus' mighty name. God has given it to you. Amen. He has given it to you. Go and take it. Amen? Amen? Go! I sent you from this grace hour. Go and take it. Amen. Go and take it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Get a good offering. Get a good offering as we end the service. Sadaka nzuri chukua. If you are giving through Mpesa. Please get an envelope. I need one. Naitaji bahasha nipatie moja. Hallelujah. Kwa bahasha na mungu wa minguni ya kubariki. Hallelujah. Nataka kuombea hiyo sadaka. Inue jumbele za buwana. Baba wa minguni ni asande. Nina libariki jina lako. I thank you for you, for you are a good God. You are a faithful God. Thank you Lord for this wonderful moment that you have given unto us. Lord, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, that Lord, you are going to glorify yourself in our lives. As we give our offerings, Lord, I pray for multiplication in our lives. I pray that none of us shall live in lack. As we continue to scatter in your house, Lord, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you will pour abundance upon us, Lord. What we give, Lord, let it come back to us multiplied a hundred times in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray that we are going to have a hundred percent harvest and your name be exalted. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Basi tutoe sadaka zetu. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, leo ni Thursday, tuko na focus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tutakuwa na focus. Kwa hivyo naomba ya kwamba upatikane focus leo kuanzia saa 12. Kujaulisha imani yako kwa sababu imani yako ndiyo kitu ile ya muhimu. Mwili huu hauna faida. Imani yako ndiyo ya muhimu. Imani yako ndiyo